A few of you requested that I do a before and after vid on Catherine Pays of the Ace family, so here it is. It only made sense to do hers considering I just did her BFF Chantel Jeffries before and after transformation too. Catherine's real name is Dolores Catherine Pays, and although her family is from Panama, she was born in Montreal, Quebec. At the time of this recording, she is 29 years old and her Instagram following is at 7.3 million followers. Even though Catherine was born in Canada, she moved to Tampa, Florida and grew up there, then went on to attend St. Louis University, the same school as her man Austin McBroom. Catherine was a model and actress from a young age, so it only made sense to move to LA afterwards to pursue more opportunities. I guess she found what she was looking for there considering her and her family currently still reside in LA to this day. If you're familiar with Catherine, then you know she rose to fame with her now husband Austin, who she has two daughters with. They're best known as the Ace Family, who found huge success with their YouTube channel, which now has over 17 million subscribers. I'd say they're the most famous YouTube family, that's for sure. These days, Catherine is not only still a YouTuber, but is also a famous influencer across other social media platforms and an aspiring TV host. Being famous on YouTube and always being involved in Hollywood, it's no doubt that Catherine has made some changes to her appearance. This pretty much comes along with the territory. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Catherine's transformation over time. She's admitted to getting some work done like a boob job, but not everything else. And fans do speculate that for sure there has been more. What's going on guys and girls, my name is Kara and this series we have titled Before and After. Today we're going to focus on Catherine, any cosmetic work she's had done or what's speculated, her body, fitness and just how she's evolved over the last little while. I've done other celebrity transformation videos including ones on her BFF Chantel Jeffries and Lele Pons and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with Catherine's face. Catherine denies getting any work done to her face, but when you compare pics from then and now, you can see some noticeable changes. Catherine's nose is actually perfect, but it hasn't always looked like this. I think getting a nose job can change your look quite a bit, so that's one of the reasons I notice it so much. Catherine's nose before was a bit larger and had a slight bump, but it still suited her face. These days, her nose is super sleek and petite with zero signs of any bumps or imperfections. The difference is the most obvious, I think, when you look at her side profile. Clearly, a lot of fans think the same thing. Considering Catherine has never admitted to a nose job, this is all just speculation, but I'm pretty positive she's gotten one. What do you guys think? Looking at the rest of Catherine's face, I would assume she hasn't got any other major work done, probably just some non-invasive stuff. Reading some threads online, fans also said what they think she had done. For example, one person said, I suggest you go to the Catherine Pays before Instagram page and there's proof specifically of the nose job. She's gotten her nose done, boobs, lip fillers, Brazilian butt lift, lipo, and tons of Botox in her face. It doesn't take a genius to know that. Interesting. Well, I definitely think she does the lip fillers considering her lips weren't nearly as full back in the day. Although they weren't that thin and looked nice all natural, in most of her photos these days, they have that extra plump look to them. I know that everyone edits their photos and can hide flaws with great makeup, but I think it's possible that Catherine also uses fillers and or Botox in her face too. Seeing as she's almost 30, she may use it to keep herself wrinkle free or even to accentuate certain parts of her face. I think she does look pretty different though. Finally, I think that Catherine has veneers on her teeth, but only because they are way too perfect, white and straight. The girl does have a great smile though, so whatever she did, it worked. So I'm not 100% sure about the changes Catherine has made to her face over the years, but it seems like she was always naturally pretty. Being a social media star and living in Hollywood, I'm sure has the most pressure, so if she does get some cosmetic work done, I'm really not surprised. I want to know what you guys think though. Has she gotten all those fixes that people think she did? Comment and let me know. Let's move on and look at Catherine's body. First off, the only work that Catherine admitted to having done on her body is a boob job. It seems like Catherine always had a nice body, which shouldn't come as a surprise because duh, the girl was a model. Still, she did look different back then. Fast forward to now and two kids later, Catherine still has a picture perfect body and maybe even nicer than before. So the question is, is it all natural? Well, like I said, the boobs aren't, but we know that. Catherine said she didn't really need a boob job, but got one a few years back and that definitely made them a lot bigger when you compare pics. I actually can't find too many pics of Catherine pre-boob job. 
Anyways, Catherine was really open about this procedure because she apparently would get asked a lot about it. Some years ago on Instagram, she posted a photo talking about her boob job, saying, Ladies, so I find myself getting tons of emails regarding my breast augmentation and figured I might as well post this. I did the procedure about three years ago and went with saline under the muscle incision through the armpit. I have little to no scars due to it being done on the crease of my armpit. I'm very open about it and although I didn't need to do the procedure, I have no regrets. Life's too short to not go through with the things that will make you happy. Well said, Catherine. But I think she had to be open about her implants considering they were pretty obvious, especially when they were new. That post was pretty old though and Catherine said that she got it done 10 years ago as of this year. As we know, she's had two kids now so I'm not sure if that was the only boob job or if she got them fixed up post babies. We know Cardi B got some post baby work done to her boobs and some lipo. We even did a video on Cardi's updated before and after too if you want to check that out. Fans have also speculated that Catherine got lipo, maybe after becoming a mom, but it's unsure. It seems the girl does work out extra hard and commits to staying in shape, so it could just be good old fashioned diet and exercise. Finally, I wonder if Catherine got a Brazilian butt lift or any work done back there. Some comments that people have posted in threads online say that for sure she has, but I don't know if I believe it. There was a video her and Austin posted on IG a few months back of Catherine dancing on Austin in the mirror and it got people talking. People said that her butt must be fake since it looks so much bigger now and after seeing that clip and the photo, I can see why. In some past photos like after Catherine had their first baby, from the side view her booty looks a lot flatter. Catherine has said that since her pregnancies her weight has fluctuated quite a bit and there have been times before when she's lost a lot of weight because of breastfeeding and stress for example. This all does make sense because we all know that weight changes can make the butt shrink or grow bigger. Her and Austin even addressed the fake booty rumors in a vlog. So yeah, like I said, I gained 60 pounds during my pregnancy. A lot of Latina girls or a lot of people in general can relate to this where you gain your weight first in your butt. So I gain weight in my butt and, and my thighs first and then my arms and my arms actually the one place in my body that's really hard to lose weight. And then went on to explain that they were natural changes after having her second baby and definitely not a butt lift. Guys, the truth is. I have not done anything to myself. The truth is, this booty is not Stand up. No, I'm not doing that right now. Shit. I'm not doing that. Shit, they need to know that booty no. is natural so the truth is my butt is natural i have never done anything to my butt in my entire life i, I don't even have massages like and you know. will never do anything to that butt yeah i won't anyways they seemed pretty convincing to me i think i'll let the booty rumors slide Whatever Catherine is doing, she looks amazing for someone who just recently had two kids. But we'll be looking at how she keeps herself fit next. So if you follow Catherine, you'll know that she bounces back quickly after having babies. I'm sure it's not exactly easy and it definitely takes some discipline. After her second child was born, she recently posted on Twitter a photo showing off her bod with Austin, writing, five months postpartum, no protein, no detox teas, no waist shaper, no pill, no fat burners, no diets, no surgeries. Train in silence without having to prove anything to anyone but yourself. Feeling myself again. So what did Catherine do to get herself back in shape? According to her, she just exercised a lot. Not only did she work out post baby, she also exercised while she was pregnant, which helps a lot to keep you in check. Her and Austin posted some vlogs of her pregnancy workouts, and I'm sure it helped having her man to train with her and keep her motivated. Let me show you all it's done. So we're gonna stand straight up, arms out, get the balance, butt always tight, down, good up, down, good up. Let's get it. Good, good. Get low, get low, honey. Get low. Good. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I think it's definitely easier to exercise if you have a workout buddy, especially if they are just as motivated as you. It also doesn't hurt if it's your boyfriend or significant other. Not only does she do at-home workouts, but Catherine spends a lot of time in the gym too, doing a variety of cardio, weights, and other activities. Woo! 
She also goes for runs or hikes, which doesn't surprise me because when you live in LA, you have to take advantage of those hills and views. I'm not sure if Catherine has any specific diet, but I would assume she eats pretty healthy. It seems like everyone in Hollywood does. From watching her vlog, she doesn't mind cheating either though. I know the girl likes Krispy Kreme donuts, but they're my weakness too. For the most part, it seems like Catherine's hair and makeup look has stayed pretty similar over the years. Although she's had dark hair before, which you can see in really old photos, she's been the same color for a while now, which is like a dirty blonde highlighted brunette look. Damn, I love it. Wait, can you tell? <laughs> yes. What is it? What's the difference? Tell me. The color. What it's color? a little lighter. Uh-huh. And? And it was cut a little bit. <laughs> a little trim. Yes, it was. There was no trim. No. Not one trim. No, something else. And you had a little, little twirl to it. <laughs> Did the roots? Uh -huh. And then I colored the hair and highlighted it. Yeah. I think when you compare pictures, her current hair definitely suits her the best, so I'm sure she'll stick to it. Catherine is a natural beauty who seems to look great without having to do much. I think that people online can be extra critical towards her just because her and her family are so famous. Although some speculate that Catherine got a lot of work done to look the way she does, I do think some of it is just rumors. I think that Catherine's post-baby body is the way it is because she exercised during and after her pregnancies, but who knows? I don't think she has a fake butt or lipo in my opinion, but I think that she got a nose job. Those are just my thoughts. Let me know if you guys think I'm right or wrong in the comments. Whatever she has or hasn't done, Catherine will just keep enjoying her ace family YouTube success, and either way, her and Austin have made a super cute family clearly considering how much everyone loves to watch them. Okay guys, so just like before, it's time for me to read out some of your comments from our previous videos. This one is from our Lindsay Lohan before and after vid, Alar Lilavali said, in my opinion, she looks really good now. Yay, finally a positive comment for Lindsay. I think she needed that. Honestly, I was watching Mean Girls the other day and I remembered just how much I love her. On her Ariana Grande house tour video, Omzi said, love this channel. Thank you so much, Omzi. I like knowing that you guys are enjoying the videos. And finally, from our Tana Mojo before and after, Rachel Smythe said, it's probably a non-surgical nose job, so they use fillers to make everything look even. I mean, we all know she's been so open about getting filler. Good point, Rachel, that very well could have been the case. I just assumed that it was a nose job because she needed that non-cosmetic one in the past. But fillers could definitely give her nose that straight and perfect look too. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here and before and after. If you wanna talk more about Catherine's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I wanna get to know you guys better and hear more of what you have to say. Let's get the 50K to 100K. Bye.